if you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome back to Spirit Guides. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, transformational shaman, spiritual coach, and psychic reader. So uh, today we are on Ascend Fridays, where we prove that the magic is real. And so we are going to be doing a reading today with Dan from Boston. And he, as one of the people who has won a reading for having put in a review. So if you would like one of these readings, please put in a review. And send, and before you hit send on the review, before you hit submit, take a screenshot and then email that screenshot to us at support at kellysparta.com. And you will be entered into a drawing that we will do periodically for readings on air. And if you don't want to wait for a reading and you don't want it to go or you don't want it to go on air, you can always sign up for one on the kellysparta.com website uh, in the services section. So it's called the seer reading. That's what we're doing today as a seer reading, which is spiritual energy, a spiritual evolution energy review. And so this is where we're going to look at the entirety of the chakra system and the aura and what's around the aura. It's a in-depth read. So we're going to get started with that. So welcome to the show, Dan. Thank you so much for being on air. Hi, thanks. I'm excited. Yeah. So I'm excited yeah. I won. <laughs> that was a, well, that you was won twice. You I won did. twice. I know. Yeah, I know. I know that that was kind of a, a, double, a double. I was kind of shocked. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Because yeah. I was like, yeah. wow, the same name came up twice in, in two spins so or three spins, actually. But yeah, so Dan won not only one of the on-air readings, but he won our grand prize for that first uh, series of, of things that we did uh, for getting enough reviews onto the Spirit Guides website. And by the way, if you're hearing this on Spirit Sherpa, you can also do this for Spirit Sherpa reviews as well. We will also enter you into a drawing for that. The the reading will show up on Spirit Guides, might be cross-posted to Spirit Sherpa, depends. But you know, we we will we will honor reviews for all podcasts that we run. So um so there. Okay. And Dan, you're one of my clients too. So I want to out that as well, because that way, if I'm talking in code to you about things we've talked about before, then yeah. people understand why that is. So okay. Um, yeah, Dan's in one of my programs. So, so with that said, you know the drill because we've done one of these before. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm not going to go into the whole spiel. And I know you know the chakra system, so we're good to go there. So I'm just going to jump into the reading. Do I have permission to enter your energy field for the purposes of this reading? Yes, you do. Okay, great. All right. So give me a second and I will be right there. Just so you're aware, there's a clicking that's happening somewhere on your end that I'm getting a periodic click, click, click. I don't it's know if chair. that's... Ah. It's my chair. I'll stop right. rocking. <laughs> okay. You might want to just lock it for the yeah, purposes of the... It, yeah. yeah. And then that way we don't have that problem. Because it's pretty significant and it's going to be distracting. And yeah. once you're in and getting your information, okay. then, right. you know, you won't remember. So, okay. We're, okay. we're lock and loaded. We're ready to go. All right. So, obviously, we'll cut that part out, guys. <laughs> Edward. So, okay. Here we go. Just a reminder to make a Kelly-sized uh, availability for me to get into your field through your shields. Okay. I'm going to start with the outside of your aura. Still seeing some residual energies there. And, you know, I think that's a function of the, the healing work that we did a couple of weeks ago, right? Uh, or a week ago, I don't remember. But, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. There's still some, some sort of dark, heavy energy around you. So uh, I would highly recommend that you do some smudging uh, to clear your energy uh, and to clear your home. So to just clear that stuff out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, so, but I'm not seeing anything specific in there. It's just sort of ick, right? Okay. So, yeah. All right. Let's drop in. Okay. So the first impression that I get as I step into your aura is the sense of the bottom dropping out. 
it, it, I literally, I came into your aura and it opened up and dropped, you know, everything dropped out. So let me just check in and see. Yeah, this feels like a, what this feels like is foundational deconstruction, right? Mm. So for those of you listening, foundational deconstruction is where you take apart your identity and, and you uh, are re recreating it, right? So you're, you're taking apart, it's sort of an, it's what people refer to as an ego death or a shamanic death. It's, it's the removing of who you thought you were and mm. then putting in place the new you. So, which given the work that we did in your, your healing session makes sense, right? Where we're reassessing everything that's going on in your field, right? Yeah. And and in your memory, even because you know, we did some past life work for you. And so that that makes sense. Let me see what else is here. Okay, so the the other image I'm getting is it's literally you're like holding on to the walls and the floor is dropped out from underneath you. <laughs> And you're like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. So there's like this, re this, there's this holding yeah. on to the old you. Okay. So that's mm. the vision that I'm getting is this holding on to the old definition of self. And mm. it, you've, you've been defined that way for so long. It makes sense that you would be sort of like, yeah. right. Because it's scary to have the, the floor drop out from under you. The, the unknown of what you're going to drop into is, is always, you know, the unknown is always the scariest, right? right? So things we don't see, not the things that we do see, because we don't know if we're going to be able to manage, right? Right. But given where you started, I think pretty much anything you encounter, you'll be fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it's just food for yeah. thought. Right. Um, you know, I, I want you to play the what if game of what if it's not terrible? What if it's amazing, right? Yeah. Because we always assume terrible when we have the unknown, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've been applying the Byron Katie stuff more often lately since the clearing. For some reason, it seems to be more helpful with, you know, I only yeah. get past the first the first two questions anyway. So, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I want you to what if what if the good, right? Yeah. You know, sure. yeah. what if it's mm -hmm. amaze balls, right? Yeah. Yeah. What if what if it doesn't suck? Right. What if it what if it so doesn't suck that it's really awesome, right? <laughs> right. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. So because that's that's really the pathway, right? Mm. As I look at this as I look forward for you and I don't do a lot of future reads just because I hold the energy of change and it messes with them, but but as I look forward for you on this, I don't see suckage. Mm. Okay? I see amaze balls. Mm. But only if you let go. Right. 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 If you hold on, you will recreate the reality that you've been used to. Yeah. Okay. You you have been holding that reality for such a long time. It will be, it would be very easy for you to put it back in place. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to let it go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's, okay. that's a very big, you know, both invitation and warning. Yeah. Okay. okay? So, you know, Treat it like one of those those massive slides that you get on the water slides. Yeah, yeah. like going straight down. You know, let yeah. go across your arms and point I your kinda, toes, I, and you'll be fine. I kind of right? love those. I kind of love those. So, oh, good. Yeah. Uh, see, yeah. I took the right metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> so treat it like that. Let go across okay. your arms, point your toes, and you'll be good. Go. Right. Yeah. So it's going to be a wild ride, but it'll be a really good wild ride. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Ah, there you go. All right. So yeah. Okay. So off and running. Good. I feel that now. And there's nothing else in the aura that they want me to talk to you about. So let's hop into the seventh chakra. Okay. So let me check your route. Hold on. Okay. So you are this close to the energetic fetal position. Okay. Mm. You've got the crown is shut off. The root is just getting a trickle of energy in. So mm. your, your prescription for that is the tree meditation. Okay. Yeah, which I know you have in your program. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you need to start doing the tree meditation several times a day. Okay. 
Okay. Not surprising given what you were dealing with before, because, mm. you know, yeah, it just makes sense, but we need to get you out of it now. Okay. So, okay. All right. So let's see here. Let's see what happens when you open the flow. All right. It looks like the flow is going to flow fine from the crown. Let me see from the root. Okay, root flow is a little more problematic. You've got a steel plate under your feet, which is actually which was actually attached to the thing that we removed during your energy session. Mm, okay. Okay. So um you need to revoke permission for that. So the steel plate under your feet means that means that you've given someone or something the right to pass judgment on your life. And if they disapprove to pull your feet out from underneath you. Right. Hmm. And so um, this is, that's, that's what that is for you. And okay. so you, the, the simple solution to this is to say, Nope, you don't get that permission and be done. Okay. okay. So yep. just do that right now. So I can see if it dissip dissipates for you. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. Now, let me, now let me check the flow. Mm, it's it's trying to come back in. So, so this is a combination of how you've internalized the thoughts that were coming in to you. Mm. Um, and so you need to you need to revoke permission for those thoughts to pass judgment on you too. There we go. All right. Hmm. Okay. I'll I'll see where this stops. Um, so the energy flow comes up easily from the root at that point, but it stops going back out around the heart chakra. So I, I'll I'll take a look at that in the heart chakra. We'll figure out what's going on there. Okay. But for now, I'm gonna come back up into the seventh chakra. Um, okay. Okay. I feel like there used to be mind on overdrive, but it's really sort of calmed down a lot now. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you, you work in a very heady space. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, it's going to take you into that energy periodically, you know, as you're working, but the, I don't feel like there's the panic there that used to be there. Okay. Right. And yeah. so that's, that's improvement. Okay. So masculine energy is good. Um, okay. So I know you said you had been having a hard time cont contacting your guides. The mm -hmm. closed off crown chakra is the reason. Okay. You so you they, that's how they talk to you is through your crown chakra. If your crown chakra is closed. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of hard, right? Okay. So as you do the tree meditation, you're going to find that that's going to be more accessible. Okay. okay. And then see if there's anything else here. I'm just trying to figure out where your energy has been coming from and how that's been happening. Yeah, so I, I, I am seeing a blocked or diverted flow of energy uh, around the crown chakra, but it's not enough to be concerning. And when you get that crown chakra back open, it's it's not going to be a problem. So I think you're okay. So yeah, just do the tree meditation. You'll be fine there. And I think, yeah, that's everything here for now. Let's come down into the third eye. Okay, so we're not doing the transmitter for receiver first because they're yelling at me about trust in the universe. So there is a uh, there's a block in the trust in the universe piece, and it is a it is connected to you made a you made a comment recently in your program about the need for things to be fair, mm. right? 
And and so this is something that happens a lot, especially like when people are in Christianity and they they look at, you know, well, God does terrible things. Why should I believe in God? Right. It's the same idea as things need to be fair. Right. And I think that that, you know, energetically, a lot of spiritual people come in with the things should be fair energy, because in spirit, we are all one. And therefore, everything is at parity, right? Mm, right. Um, and so the more of the spirit that you bring in with you, the more you feel that need for, for you know, fairness and justice and well, not even justice, fairness, right? Mm, parity. Yeah. Parity is really the key. We, you know, we call it fairness, but it's, it's parity. We want parity. And that is not what this realm is about, right? right. This realm is about duality, which is mm. an absolute opposition to parody, right? Mm. So, you know, it's it's a it's an artifact of being of having strong memories of spirit is this need for parody. Okay. So mm. okay. And so, you know, the the it's really about buying into this reality, right? Right. It's like, okay. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna buy into this reality and, and acknowledge that we have opted into duality and right. out of parody. In in order to play the virtual reality game that is this, re this existence, right? And so, you, that's really the key to letting go of that is saying, look, that's not what this this reality is. We will be back at parity when we leave this reality, but for this time, we have opted into duality to have a different experience, right? Okay. And so that's the key there, and that is part of what's what's creating a challenge for you with trusting the universe. That and the past life stuff that we were talking about mm. cleared before. It's like, well, yeah, if you were carrying stuff mm. forward from a past life that was beating on you, then, you know, that makes sense that you would see that as the universe beating on you, right? Right, right. But, but it wasn't. It wasn't the right. universe. It was a past life thing carrying forward. So, right. um, so it's important to deconflate those two things, to, to peel those apart, right? Because they are not the same thing. Okay. Okay. So this is, so the, the trust in the universe piece is also trust in yourself, which is another mm -hmm. piece that you've struggled with, right? So they're mm -hmm. a balance, right? It's the, you know, when you don't trust yourself, you don't trust the universe. When you don't trust the universe, you don't trust yourself. You, don't trust yourself. you are the universe and the universe is you, right? Mm -hmm. We at some level know that we are everything and everything is us. And so mm -hmm. when you can't trust one, you can't trust the other. Okay. So what I want you to do to address this is the invitation is to make a list of all the ways in which you are trustworthy. Make a list of all the ways in which the universe has supported mm. you. Okay. Right. Okay. And that's, yeah. you know, we, we do evidence-based stuff here, right? right? Because we will list until the cows come home, all the ways in which we in the universe suck, right. but we don't list the things that go well and the things that go well go unnoticed and they are 99% of the things that happen, but right. we don't pay attention to them. And therefore all we, because we pay attention to the negative, what we focus on expands and becomes everything to us. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. So now am I allowed to look? Nope. Nope, not allowed to look at the transmitter and receiver yet. We're looking at power, okay? <laughs> your, your personal power. Um, okay, so again, the, the being willing to own your power is something that operates in the sixth chakra. And that is for you very much a function of this lack of trust in self. Okay, when you can't trust yourself, you won't trust yourself to have your power. Mm. Okay, because you're inherently yeah. a good person and you don't want to do damage to the world, right? right. Yeah. And so you're like, well, if I can't be trusted, I can't have power. Mm. So right. you to to give yourself permission to have access to your full spiritual power, you're going to have to do the work on you know getting yourself to a place where you feel trustworthy. And okay. you know, for for some people, that's you know, do I keep my word to myself, mm -hmm. right? And I know you're pretty good at that. So I'm I'm not sure that yeah. that's your deal, but it's also emptying the well of rage, which, you know, 
there's going to be some stuff coming up for you with the st stuff we just cleared. So you'll probably okay. do some more of that work. Okay. Um, and but a lot of it for you is the stuff that was being caused by that past life stuff. Right. Um, and so, you know, being being able to put yourself in that new mindset to step into that new identity now that you no longer have all of that acting on you. Right. Mm -hmm. And then that will that will help you. OK. All right. So now can I look at the Yes. Now I can look at the transmitter. <laughs> They're they're having me do things backwards for you because the, uh, this is the order they needed to come out. So, okay, let's uh, let's check the transmitter. Ooh, nice and strong transmitter, fantastic. And coming back, ooh, lots of energy going out. Hold on, still still pulling energy out, 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 out. Okay, yeah, but no pulling back. Okay, so. You're probably not going to believe me when I say this, but I'm going to say it because you need to hear it. Massive power going out in that transmitter, like more than I've felt. I don't know if it's ever, but in, in a, probably a decade from anybody. Mm. So that shows really strong ability to be a reader, mm. psychic reader. The challenge for you is that you're not receiving it back. And that's mm. the lack of trust in yourself, lack of, of willingness to own your own power, all of that piece. Okay. Mm. So when you clear that, you're going to have the ability to do really powerful readings. Okay. Okay. Let me check your receiver. Okay. So your receiver is open. So, oh, it's interesting. That's interesting. So what they're telling me is, you know, I know you work in a very abstract field, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so what they're telling me is that your receiver is so wide open because you actually use that in your work. When you're trying to solve mm -hmm. a complex problem and you have mm -hmm. to take it into the abstraction, they're saying that you're actually receiving that information psychically and that it's it, it's like coming to you in a flash. It's like it, it all coalesces yeah. at once sort of thing. That that's why your receiver is so wide open is because you're actively using it in your work. Hmm. That, that makes I, I can relate to that. Yeah. 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 So and that's actually going to be really good for you when you're opening to the universe as well. Right now, you're not okay. allowing the universal messages through because you okay. don't trust them. Right. OK. But. The receiver's wide open. So when okay. the when you are willing to receive those pieces, right now you're filtering out the universal messages and you're only allowing in the stuff that relates to your work because, you know, to you that's that's different, right? Mm. Um, but when you can get yourself into that place of trust in the universe, everything's just gonna go whoosh, right. Okay. It's gonna be maze balls. Okay. 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 Anything else in this chakra? So I'm not seeing any creativity usurped by the mind, but I'm also not seeing a lot of creativity. So it's like you use all your creative energy in your work and mm. you're not doing it in other places. Okay. Okay. So the invitation would be to find a creative endeavor that is not work related. Okay. Something that your inner child can play with. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Some way for there to be joy and play. Okay. In a creative fashion. So, okay. Let me see what else. Okay. That's everything for the sixth chakra. Let's come down into the throat. <sighs> Tapping into self-expression. Okay. So I've got a little opening in my mouth and there is energy coming out. So it's not wide open, mm. but it is open and it is expressing. So I I don't remember the reading we did a year ago, but I, but I feel like this is progress. I know you've reviewed it recently, but the I feel like 
I feel like this is not new, new, but it's it's progress from where you had been. And um, yeah, it feels like it's in it's in process still too. So that it feels like that's going to get wider and wider. Okay. Okay. All right, and then check the communication stuff. Not seeing people pleasing communication. I feel like there's a little dependence in asking permission. It, it's it's not about day to day life stuff. It's about um, am I okay stuff, right? It's the mm. the 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 the, the dependence on asking for permission is more related to uh, you know the the people in your life who are helping you with your personal growth stuff, right? Mm. So it feels like it's a, am I okay? Am I okay? Am I okay? Right. That sort of thing. And I feel like at this point you're in, you're at a level where you can start to pull that back and make that internally focused mm. and make that an internal choice, not an external validation, right? Okay. To, to validate yourself and say, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that's a good, you know, given the healing work that we did, it makes sense to to start this process, right? Okay. So let's see, anything else in here? Not seeing any hiding of your true self. That's good. Not feeling the need for invisibility. That's good. Yeah, looks good. All right. So that's everything in the fifth. That was fast. Let's come mm -hmm. down to the heart. Let's see what's going on with the with the returning energy uh, on the root chakra. Let's see what's what's happening there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm seeing a dagger of betrayal in your back, and mm -hmm. that's what's stopping the energy flow from going back out into the ground after you've brought the root chakra energy up. Um, this is that past life stuff. Mm. Okay. It's, it's the, you know, wow, I, I didn't, I didn't sign on for this sort of energy. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so, you know, the key to this betrayal energy is all about, you know, not acknowledging what we know to be true. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's like oftentimes the, oftentimes it, betrayal in this life is, you know, the other person told you who they were mm -hmm. and you didn't believe it. And you asked them to be somebody else and they said, okay, I'll try. And then they weren't and they were themselves. Right. And, and then you felt betrayed. You felt like you got your feet pulled out from under you that way. Right. In this case, it's a, I didn't realize that, that stuff that happened in a past life was going to carry forward. And now I, I had it happen and it messed with my life and I'm not happy about it. And so a lot of it's about just going, yeah, that's, that's what happens. Right. You know, mm -hmm. And you know, there are consequences to all actions and this was a consequence to an action and it just is what it is. Right. Yep. Um, and sometimes there's just trauma that carries forward and, and that's, that happens too. Right. So this is just a, the, the key to releasing this is to just saying, yep, it was what it was. Yep. And, you know, to stop passing judgment on yourself and on others and just to let it be and be like, yep, that's what happened. And now we're done. Right. Yeah. And when you can let that go, that dagger will resolve and the energy will flow back into the root again and you'll have good flow. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, you know, spend some time in meditation with that and just release it. Okay. 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 And then let's see what else is here. Yeah, there's there's grief that's coming up from, you know, the the stuff that happened. Uh and that's part of the foundational deconstruction is to clear that grief. Mm. So the clearing grief audio would be super helpful for yeah, that. Yeah, I, I actually started looking at that because I think when you had mentioned that in the clearing, mm -hmm. um, it just resonated because it's like, I do feel like I just, just have this well of grief that, you know, I've been yeah. working with in a lot of different, you know, in a lot of ways, like crying like crazy. Um, and, but it's still, you know, it, it still has a ways to go. Yeah. So just keep clearing it. The, the, the 
clearing grief audio will help a lot. Okay. So listen to it often. It is yeah. cumulative. Okay. And you know, it's eventually the grief will clear. You just okay. got to be with it until it clears. Yep. Okay. So it takes as long as it takes. Don't put a time limit on it. Grief is weird. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. And don't put shoulds on it. Don't be like, ah, I should be done with this by now. Nope. Right. You're done with it when you're done with it. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. what it is, yeah, right? Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at, let's see what else is in this. How are we doing? Nice. Your receiving of love has opened up nicely. Interestingly, the giving is kind of miserly. Hmm. Okay. So it feels less like you you are being miserly and more like you are like you're protecting others from you. Hmm. That that's an old theme. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to remind you based on the new based on the yeah. clearing that you don't yeah. need to be protected from yeah. right yeah. that that you are actually safe and this is part of the the thing is right that yeah. you want to be you, this is again the going back to trusting yourself piece right so when you get that trust in yourself reorganized this will open mm. up because when you trust it, yourself then then you will open this because you won't feel the need to protect others from you right yeah when you mentioned the heart stuff it, you know, I, w I just like I connected with that because that that has one thing I've noticed that it's the the tightness in my chest that what the closing off it it that was the so that was the weirdest part of that clearing was feeling that because it it happened and I I, I left you a message personal message oh, you know and I started crying because of it how it just it just moved now the interesting thing is. And we can get to, well, yeah, so we'll stick with that. I'll mention something later when you're done, because I don't want to influence anything in the, in the reading. Um, but uh, yeah, but I did notice that a lot. And as you're talking about it, it uh, I just feel more of a more softness yeah. in in this area. And, and I, I don't, I actually kind of touched into like this, I don't feel uh, that, I, I don't feel like I'm unsafe with people or, or that, you know, that, that kind of feeling that I had before where I'm like, I'm dangerous or something and, or scary, you know, or whatever it is that, you know, somehow I scare people or whatever, which I knew was never true because I have so many people tell me the opposite. I just, right. and that's always been very confusing to me. It's like not understanding why, and that it would keep me from really connecting. So I, I kind of feel like that's, I, I see that, but it's almost like not really sure how to play with it kind of sense you know yeah well uh, the more you do the trust in self and trust in the universe yeah. work the more this will open up of its own accord it doesn't feel like it needs its own focus okay. it feels like if you do that this opens by itself okay okay, okay. All right. so yeah. you know best to be make it simple right okay yeah yeah and and just for for reference for everybody listening there was an entity attached there was a, a a being attached from a previous life that was causing all of this for Dan. So, okay. and we cleared that as part of this. So, and that entity was really beating on him. So mm -hmm. he was actually kind of dangerous because the entity would beat on him. And, and if it could influence other people around him to beat on him too, it would, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is... This happens sometimes, and that's why the clearing was so significant. So, okay. So, the let me see if there's anything else in the heart chakra. Hold on. No, that's everything in the heart chakra. Wow, this is really going fast today. So mm. let's go down into the into the third chakra. We've we've got a solid theme, is what's going on. So, okay. So third chakra is let me see let's look at identity <laughs> okay not a big surprise i i see like this this identity that was made out of stone and it's like collapsed onto the ground which mm. well kind of fits with the 
you know, floor dropping out and in, in the aura mm. that we talked about with the the foundational deconstruction, your 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 identity has been decimated, right? It's just been destroyed and it's on the ground and now we're waiting for it to reform. So just mm. a reminder in foundational deconstruction, we are waiting for it to reform. We are not trying to force the reforming of it. We are not trying to structure the reforming of it. We are allowing it to reform of its own okay. accord based on the new existence. So okay. the stuff that you're doing during this process is pulling apart anything that's in the way of it coming back together in a healthier fashion for you. Okay. Okay. So we're not trying to say this is who I'm becoming because mm -hmm. right now, your becomingness will be based on your awareness of your past and therefore it will be informed by that and you want to let go of that. So mm. we want to consciously create it. We mm. want to allow it to emerge mm. from its its truer self, right? From your truer self, yeah. not from your memories of what your previous ego belief structures were, right? So it's important to allow it to emerge and not try to construct it okay okay yeah. all right yeah all right so all right so here we go what else is in here let's look at your inner child oh my nose so i see your inner child and he's running around laughing he's probably i don't know like five years old and he's wearing these black and white up and down striped shorts with like they're they're sort of uh, widely spaced pinstripes and he's yeah like a yellow shirt i don't know it's but he's he's running and he's laughing and he's like he's like he's running away from you so I can't see his face, mm -hmm. okay. right? So, well, he's running away from me right now. But I, the impression that I'm getting is that he's he's playing a game of tag. Okay. Okay. And that, that you're it. Mm -hmm. And you've got to chase him and find him now. So, but he is laughing hysterically. So he's not upset. Mm -hmm. He's not mad. He's not sad. He's just playing tag. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and now you've got to, got to catch him. Right. Okay. So the 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 invitation is to not ascribe negative intent to him running away from you. Okay. Okay. Because he is running away from you, but he's playing tag. He's playing, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's playing. And yeah. and he wants you to play with him because you don't play enough. Right. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 Okay. And so the the key here is for you to, you know, engage, right? Mm. Engage and play. Okay. Okay. And maybe, you know, maybe physically sort of play tag. You could go out with your dog and do it, right? Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm really feeling like the the running around like you would when you're playing tag would be okay. something that would be a great connector for you to him. Okay. Uh, he would see that as a, oh, he's playing. Oh, yay. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yeah. then, you know, bring your dog with you so people don't think you're nuts. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and you know, he's having to play with your dog too. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, all right. Anything else? No, he's happy as a clam. So, okay. you're good. Okay. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Not good enough which is pretty common. Oh, that's interesting. So I saw some too big, too much in there, but then mm. it drained all out again. Mm. And so it looks like the, the shift of the clearing has cleared that. Mm. So that, that has moved. Let's see. So there's some martyr energy still in here, but it's it's being propped up by your holding on to the old belief structures. Mm. 
But when you let go of those and you what if the good, um, that that's going to disappear. Mm -hmm. okay. So you don't have to do any direct work on that. That's going to go of its own accord. Let me see. And the not good enough is actually tied to the not trusting yourself in the universe piece. So again, I wouldn't focus on that. Mm. Um, there's a little not welcome, not wanted. But again, I feel like that's going to clear with the other stuff. Yeah, I don't see any work to do in this chakra specifically. Okay. Other than, you know, the allowing of your identity to reform and the doing of the work that we've already talked about in the other chakras. Okay. Okay. All right. So, and playing tag. So, <laughs> all right, let's come down to the second chakra. So I'm seeing this one sort of opening in fits and starts. It's like the, and and this is the sexuality energy I'm tapping into right now. I'll t look at creativity in a minute. But what I'm seeing is it's sort of opening and closing and opening and closing and opening and closing. And But it feels like it's in the process of opening. It's just, you know, testing the waters, right? Mm -hmm. Feels like that's, that's, it's opening up. So creativity mm. yeah you need to do some more creative stuff let me see what's in here no addictions attachments i don't see anything there that's problematic shame and guilt sort of residual energy, but fading. Mm. Um, and again, that's past life stuff, right? Yeah. So that's fading. Uh, so I don't, I don't see any active work to do on it. It's, it's just, it's, it's clearing itself. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's, oh, this is going really fast today. So good. <laughs> All right. Second chakra is done. Let's come down into the root. All right. We already looked at the energy flow, so we've dealt with that. Ooh, feels like the fears around safety and security have really drained. Mm. It's like that used to be really high, and now it's feeling like it's just smoothing out. Um, feel like the family stuff's not relevant. Yeah, they're telling me the friends piece isn't relevant. It's not, they're saying nothing new from what mm -hmm. you had before, right? They're like nothing new. So, and then let me look at the, your manifestation bubble here. Hold on. Okay, once you clear the betrayal, because that's stopping things right now, but once you clear the betrayal, And then the the other place it's stopping is is the th the trust and self in the universe. So once you clear those two things, you're golden on the manifestation mm. bubble. Okay? okay, those are the two things in the way of the manifestation bubble. Everything else is golden, so it's moving yes. smoothly through everywhere else. So I feel I don't remember what our reading was last year. I know you listened to it, but I feel like this is a massive improvement. Um, mm. It is. You know, Actually, it is. Yeah, because I just listened to it this week. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. you know, you're welcome to make any comparisons that you want. But do you have any questions about this before we move into that? Okay. Can, can I ask a question of sure. the past? Okay. So, in the last reading, so that's why I, I didn't bring this up earlier. The, I, and I listened to it. And as usual, it's like, don't remember you mentioning it. But when you got to the inner child, you said that it was a, uh, you found him in a little pup tent. There's a nice canvas white pump t pup tent. And, uh, but it was like a, a Hogwarts, a Harry Potter one where you went in, it was like, boom. And he was in there and, and he seemed happy. But you asked why he was, why he was in there. He's like, I don't feel welcome. Mm. 
So I sat with that on Tuesday because um, I think I listened to it Monday or Sunday. So I decided I was going to sit in meditation with it and go and, re and go get them and go, you know, I'm going to try not to ball my eyes out because <laughs> uh, I went in and once I got in the tent, he grabbed onto my leg mm. and I cried for like 25 minutes. Yeah. You know, and just like heaved and heaved and heaved and heaved. And the interesting thing is, my dog is sitting in front of me. I'm out on my back porch because uh, it was early morning, so the sun's rising and stuff like that. He's sitting there just directly in front, like in front of me. He's got his head on the rail. And he's not reacting at all. He's almost like letting me go through my process. Because a yeah. lot of times if I, most of if I get if I get angry, like driving, I'm in the car, if I get mad at somebody, he, he's like right in my face, like kissing me. It's like, oh, no, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> but he was just and I opened my eyes a few times because I was like really just sobbing and he just he was just like you know just letting me let me do it so I just kept sobbing 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 so I brought him brought him next to me and and now and then at that point it's like okay I'm not really sure what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with you just yet so and now you're saying he's like playing tag so yeah so I got I got to figure out how to yeah he how was to get, get so joyous that. Yeah. He was so joyous in, in being out there and being like, oh, you're going to play with me now. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, that I do yeah. remember the pup tent now that you mention it. I did not remember it before. So, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, right. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So I think that's why he's out of the tent. So now he's just out playing in the yard somewhere. Yeah. So, with yeah. you. And with he's, me. he's yeah. super excited yeah. to be playing with you. Yeah. 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 Well, I do. I mean, I've been consciously trying to bring him in with me, like when I do my meditation, stuff like that, to bring him, you know, to, to kind of let him know that it's like, you know, I just didn't do this once. I'm like, you're here, yeah. you know, just to right. kind of keep reminding him that, that, you know, I, I'm not forgetting him, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so that, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, the, the, the feeling that I had, the, the, a lot of the sobbing was about abandonment, though. Yeah. You know, it's like that I abandoned him. Yep. So. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the biggest grief we have is abandon, abandoning ourselves. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, so I'm glad he's happy. Yeah. So, yeah. So and, and the part of the, what I wanted from bringing him back in was to tap back into a lot of that uh the joy and the happiness that he has yeah oh and he is so joyous you know? yeah. he was just laughing i mean it's just everybody's seen that young child laugh right yeah. that, that just yeah. pure joy of being in, alive and having a great time in life and right. all right that right. that's yeah that's what i was seeing yeah nice okay yeah so okay all right any other questions uh no i got some stuff to do though <laughs> it's a long list of things to do yeah but um, does it make sense it does yeah yeah and, and just uh one thing that you know i i still feel that there's a part that like uh, when you're talking about uh there's this part that, I, I still feel like this part that is sort of holding on to the old stuff a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like even as you're talking about doing the stuff and moving forward and letting that go, it's like, I can kind of still feel him like, Oh no, 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 no. You know, a little, not as strong as it was, but it's, right. it's, it's still, you know, get this clinging to it. So there's, there's energy that's still, um, almost, almost like, uh, I can't believe it's almost like a, uh, Ken, can we actually do this? Right. Like, is this something we actually can do? Because it's almost like a disbelief that we can do this. Right. Like that we can change this stuff and do it. It's like, it's like, so it's like holding on to what it had because it's like, because it doesn't want to be disappointed, you know? Yeah. Um, well, and, and, you know, I know you do a lot of part work. And so what this might be useful for as you're looking at the different parts of yourself yeah. would be to, to look at that part and reassign it. Mm. I give it a new purpose because its purpose yeah. was internalizing the messages it was getting from that entity that was attached to you. Right. Right. And so now it doesn't have a role and it's lost. Mm. So you need to give it a different 
purpose yeah. and yeah. re-enroll it in a healthier fashion for you. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so find yeah. something else that it wants to do. So sit in meditation with it and say, look, you know, this is this is no longer a useful thing. Right. Mm, you know, this right. thing isn't attached to me anymore. I can let it go now. And then you can let it go now. Mm. What would you like to be focused on instead and enroll yeah. it in the process of choosing a new path? Yeah. yeah and yeah, that'll yeah. be okay. helpful. That'll make sense. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That actually makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So how was it? I was surprised, honestly, <laughs> surprised at, at how clear a lot of things are. The thing is, like, I do feel better. I, I've been feeling, it, honestly, even si like since that clearing work we did, it's, it's, it's you know, it, it I want to say it's like subtle, but a little bit more subtle than, you know, it's like noticeable to like, you know, it, it's like one of those things, like I tell you before, it's like, if something happens, it's like, do I believe this? It's like, did this right. really, you know, is this, yeah. is this real? Did this really? And the thing is, it's like, it's, you know, that started a few days after that. And then, but it's just, it's continued to kind of be there, you know, and I'm noticing different, different kind of openings in my meditation and stuff like that. So it's like, there's this, it's like the doors open, like a door opened up and I'm kind yeah. of like trying to walk through it. And, uh, um, so there's all this other stuff. And of course, there's also like the, these it might be, it could be that part that's like still afraid that I'm going to get dragged back, right? you know, and, and somehow in some way back into it. So, uh, but I'm still just kind of like, okay, I'm just going to go, you know, do, you know, to meditation or whatever work I'm doing to try to, you know, and just noticing like, even like the Byron Katie stuff ha has been having like this interesting effect, like a more like the part would do like do some sort of fearful thought and then I do it and it's like, oh, oh, well, maybe not. Right. You know, where before it's like, oh, no, 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 I'm not sure. You know, it's like, no, it's like, it's like oh, well, yeah, you're right. No, I, I don't know. Right. <laughs> you know, and then yeah. it kind of just drops, and then it just drops it. I mean, it'll come back, but it's just like, you know, because it, it, there's a habitual thing in the brain thing that's got to slow down at some point, but. Yeah. And yeah. for everybody yeah. listening, what he's referencing is Byron Katie's The Work. So the if, work, you, yeah. if you Google Byron Katie's The Work for questions, you will find yeah. what you need. Okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I, I, so it's been, there's been a lot of, um, I'm, I'm just, I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sitting with like a big surprise on how much things have shifted. So. You know, in, in a little way, just kind of looking forward to like, okay, where do we go from here? And what does, you know, because it's just like, sort of like, it's still walking into unknown, you know, yeah. I don't know, you know, I know, I know what I have these little pieces in front of me, like to work with, but you know, what, what opens up, you know, yeah. beyond that. Well, and, the work that we did, and we talked a little bit about this beforehand, but the work that we did in that spiritual alchemy session, right? A healing session was it is so it was so prevalent the the stuff that was that we cleared was so prevalent throughout your life that it really does impact every level of your experience mm. right and you know sometimes when you do a healing session it's like oh yeah it's over here and it, it clears that and that's fine but yours was so uh, foundational to your experience yeah that it will be ca cascading across every level of your experience. And, mm. you know, as we said, it's going to be three to six months before this sort of evens out and normalizes because mm. it's a huge, yeah. uh, had such a huge impact on your life that it's that clearing it is having a huge impact on your life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not surprised that you're finding, you know, the subtleties, right. Yeah. Because the subtleties are where, uh, you know, the largest expansion of stuff is, is because mm -hmm. we don't, you know, it's in the things that we're not aware that we're aware of. Right. 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 And so then you're like, Hey, wait a minute, wait, I'm not feeling this. Should I be feeling this? I feel like I should be feeling this. I, I think mm -hmm. I, I would have been really feeling this before, but I'm not feeling it now. Why am I not feeling it now? Right. Yeah. It's that sort of right. surprise things that happen. Yeah. So that, that was the interesting thing. One of the things that, uh, that I think I told you is like, you know, so that, kind of tension kind of went away but something else opened up in my in my 
solar plexes. There, it mm-hmm. seems like the third, the third. All right. So, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I mean, I do go to therapy and I work with a therapist and he is also very much in tune with a lot of this stuff. You know, he does IFS and he's the meditator and stuff. So he was actually very excited. He's like, oh, that's really, that's really good. It's like, cause, I mean, he did mention though, that this up here, we call it like, I would call it anxiety, mm-hmm. but he's actually, you know, fear resides there. Anxiety is down here. And mm-hmm. the anxiety that I had, it's, it's not, it's not like, it's like, I'm so anxious. It's just different. It's just like this it's like an energy ball that expands like I, you know, when I'm out and about it and with different things. And so it's just trying to figure out what that is and work with a release or, you know, understand what, what's behind that. So, but if things did kind of move. Yeah. And, I, I would avoid getting in your head about that. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's really just about being with. Yes. Um, that's and exactly with how the sensation you, yes. and not, you know, let, letting the, the any words that try to come up and inter- no interpretation, just like letting, kind of letting it at some point, like through intuition or through a guide or something, say, oh, this, you know, exactly. just kind of, so, so that's where a lot of the, the, but that's, that was a, that was a distinct change in my body, sens- my, my body sensations and stuff like that. My somatic, my somatic experiences changed a lot. Yeah. So. And I did have this one little, this thought before it's like, you know, I was like, oh, now that this stuff opens up, I wonder if I'm going to see a gift, <laughs> you know, like just a, like a, like a spiritual gift. Cause I, I think a part of me has always wanted to have some kind of, you know, one, one of my own little magic things that I can do, but you know, do your tree so meditation, right, right. So, and your, um, your trust in self and you will right. get that gift. Remember I saw yeah. that massive energy. Yeah. The reader. So, thing, yeah. 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 So. Yeah, so it's, a, it's kind of it's it's kind of exciting, exciting and scary at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> so which is nice because a lot of, for me a lot for a long time I and mean, since I've known you, it's been just scary. Right. You know, there's been really no getting excited over anything. Right. So it's so things have shifted a lot. You know. Um, and yeah, so it's exciting. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Anything else you wanted to add before we finish I, up? I'm good. I'm good with that. Thank you for the reading. Appreciate All right. It. Great. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you uh, if you want your own seer reading, you can find it at kellysparta.com in the services section. If you want a spiritual alchemy session, which is what Dan was talking about in terms of the work that we did with him before this reading, uh, you can also find that there. And uh, thanks for listening. Don't forget that what you focus on expands. What you intend is what you create. So choose wisely. <laughs> So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh, 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 oh